हेलो एंड वेलकम इन दिस वीडियो वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एरिया राउटिंग विच इज ए वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट इन अवर वी एल एस आई फिजिकल डिजाइन सो द मेन गोल ऑफ एरिया राउटिंग इज टू राउट ऑल द नेट्स इन द डिजाइन विदाउट ग्लोबल राउटिंग एंड विद इन द गिवन ले आउट स्पेस एंड वाई मीटिंग ऑल द जोमेट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल डिजाइन रूल्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द गिवन फाउंड्री and area routing performs the following optimizations like minimizing the total routed length minimizing the number of wires minimizing the total area of wiring minimizing the circuit delay and it is generally subjected to technology constraints electrical constraints and geometry constraints as well so uh, we are having different types of area routing or there may exist different types of area routing according to the goal of the designer so in the first type we have the minimum wire length but in this we can see we will face somewhat difficulty in routing the net numbered one so there is an alternating routing path in which we can easily route the net number one also but it does not minimize the wire length so there can be a different approaches to area routing according to the choice of the vlsi designer and it depends on his experience that which route he wants to choose so the area routing is generally dependent on the distance between the two points so first we have the euclidean distance and second is the manhattan distance so in this example we can see we have shown both the euclidean distance and the manhattan distance between two points so generally there can be multiple manhattan paths between two points but the euclidean shortest path is always the unique path and there can be multiple manhattan shortest path between two points so the total number of manhattan shortest path in a delta x cross delta y region is given by this formula so euclidean paths are not short are uh, usually shorter than the manhattan paths and in this example we can have a total of 210 manhattan shortest path between these two points so the two pairs of points may admit non intersecting manhattan shortest path while their euclidean shortest paths intersect so when euclidean shortest path intersect there may exist manhattan shortest path that do not intersect so in this example we can see the euclidean shortest paths are intersecting but manhattan shortest paths are not intersecting so in this example also we can see if all pairs of manhattan shortest path between two pairs of point intersect then euclidean path will also intersect so the manhattan distance is slightly larger than the euclidean distance and euclidean paths are usually the shorter paths so there can be a ratio of a minimum ratio of 1.15 to a worst case ratio of 1.41 so uh, the manhattan distance is slightly larger than the euclidean distance so please like and share the video and subscribe the channel for more such videos on vlsi physical design thank you and i have also made videos on cadence virtuoso so you can watch those videos also